the runaway third division leaders to kick off the second half. Attacking the goal to our right. Sendaza on this cold day, keen to get on with it. Rangers were a bit slow in coming out of the blocks. But they did find their game and they deserve to be in front. Peter Head certainly cannot be counted out. Especially when you think back to the sequence of events when these two sides met at this venue back in August. David Cox making the run for Peter Head. And he's managed to win the ball too. Cox! It wasn't a particularly inviting angle. He does brilliantly to start with. Um, Ian Black gets caught in the ball. He does well initially, but and you can see him there. A little bit fancy. Cox does well. Look at McAllister. That's a pullback for me. Now Mike Tumulty is going to have to reach for his pocket. Rory McAllister. There's the player on the ground. As he makes his way up, he realises what is about to occur. Yellow card. He is normally from the lenient school as referees go, Mike Tumulty, but he's run out of patience. It's a continuation of fouls. I think I've watched him. Mike Tumulty go to Rory McAllister in minutes ago. It was the final warning for him. Goes into that challenge, picks up a yellow. to get out with little Babbage trying to put the pressure on Perry Martin Babbage, son of Mitch Babbage who was quite the prominent North East footballer himself back in the day it's by Ross Smith he's ahead have kept themselves in this game would dearly love to grab a second goal which might have the effect of finishing off the blue tuners Strachan Sandaza was alert and goes right Strachan oh completely this time Tumulty was just a few yards away from that incident. It will be a free kick to Rangers and a yellow card. Yeah, no doubt. Just frustration. Sandaza doing a few tricks, but just completely taken out by Strachan. Can't have any complaints here. Sandaza has taken up his position inside the box. Ian Black will be responsible for the free kick. Just past the hour mark. Black keeps it on the ground. It was McLeod who struck it. Now Templeton. And the concession of a corner by Jamie Redman. They've used that free kick a few times this season, Rangers. Lewis McLeod peels from the back area and they, and they cut it back, just missed times a strike. Usually Lee McCulloch does that job. There's no Lee McCulloch again for Rangers today because of injury. David Templeton with it. It was by Kribari, couldn't pick out a teammate. Wallace. Strike forward with authority. He was checked. McLaughlin, the offender. So in the end, it was Dean Cowie. McLaughlin in the vicinity. Surprised that Cowie's not picked up a yellow. He's walking the proverbial tightrope, isn't he? McLeod hovering over this one for Rangers. It comes off Hegarty. Trying to react. Right at the end of that one. Well, Kribari starts in, then he blocks. It's not Hegarty's man, he's just dropped. 
poor defending from Peterhead on that occasion should really score. Ryan struck it. Here's Rory McAllister. Surely had ball. And Tamilty moving over towards Rory McAllister. He was put earlier. Oh, this is going to be a big problem for Peterhead. They've just been reduced to ten men. Second bookable defence. And off goes McAllister. Well, he didn't have to do it, but I'm not sure how intentional this is because I think the ball sits a lovely run for him. He peels. We'll see in this one. Yeah, he didn't have to lift his hands, especially on a, a booting. Plus, it was, I don't think it was going to get out the pitch. I, I think maybe he's thinking Kribari's going to swing a boot at it and the arms come up, but he's by the letter of the law, he's got to go. But it's a harsh one, isn't it? One nil down and one man down. Templeton and still going here. David Templeton! A whisker away. And it was all his own work. Yeah, he catches Ryan Strachan here. Ryan Strachan doesn't get through the ball. And you think in that position, he was similar sort of position in the first half, blasted it over. This time he screws it wide. He should be certainly looked at the target, but David Templeton looked dangerous again just to finish his missing. Mackay, the young starlet. Will take the place of the goal scorer, Fran Sandaza. We haven't seen a lot of Sandaza second half, even with Rangers' numerical advantage. But you know what? He comes alive in the box. It's been proven today. Gets the all-important goal. Barry Mackay coming on. Been used sparingly over the last few weeks. Maybe Marley McCoy is avoiding burnout, but certainly looking after him. Certainly a quality player in the evidence I've seen so far. Templeton's pass, and he's only just come on. He tries his luck, Barry Mackay. Ross Smith, in the end, had to play it back to Graham Smith. Scott Ross's boot. Graham Sharp for Peterhead. Mackay. Now Lewis McLeod, space opening up here for Rangers. Perfect ball, and David Templeton! Well, he can't believe that it's gone wide. That would have been the clincher. Yeah, it's three times he's had the chance to hit the tag, three times he's missed it, but what about that pass? sent off earlier second bookable defence Rangers with the numerical advantage Templeton trying to keep the defenders on their toes and David Templeton well, just hasn't happened for him in front of goal official attendance here at Balmore 4,855 and that is a new record for this Buchan venue. No such thing as an easy game for Rangers in the third division. And Babbitt's looking for. Ross Smith, that was very nearly there for him. Corner to Peter Head. Well, it's brilliant from here. Babbage does ever so well. Wallace lets it come in too easy. Ross Smith up there from the back, hitting that front area. I'll tell you what, it's great defending from Hegarty. David Cox to take it. It added time at the end of the game. And Alexander, you have to watch that one very closely. It's going to be another corner. Back in August, it was Rangers who salvaged the point thanks to Andrew Little right at the death. Could it be Peter Head's turn today? They are pressing here. Went Ross Smith. 
Or was that Peter Head's last chance? Yeah, from the, the dead ball situation corner, I think Redmond's the one that should be shouting there to Ross Smith. He's up, he's desperate to get on the end of it, knocks it wide, but Redmond in a better position coming in on it. Could have probably got a better head up. Should see it out for Rangers. been a contest and a spirited one at that. Looks as though Peter Head might come up that little bit short. Babbage. Cox. What can they pull out of the fire? Trying to play it in. Comes to Scott McLaughlin. Also very Effective block by Kerry. Oh, still live. He's trying to slip it through. Okay. Okay. Comes to Ross Smith. Rangers try to see it out. That's not a centre half. I thought that's a great ball from Redmond. Full time. And Rangers have made it seven away wins on the trot. Once again, a 19-point advantage at the top of the third division table for Ali McCoist and his players. Fran Santaza did their damage today. His finish from close range. The final score at Balmoor is Peter Head-Nil, Rangers 1.